Welcome to Yin Yoga Lifestyle. I am your host, Colette Darville. Cultivating our body's resilience and inner silence and its application to all aspects of your life. Let's become enlightened and enjoy the power of intuitiveness and creativity. Listening to Society Bites Radio, social interaction for the mind and soul. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. I am your host, Colette Darville, and this is Yin Yoga Lifestyle. So now let us take a deep, meditative breath. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. Dr. Janet Gallipo, doctor of oriental medicine, has been in private practice since 1993. Her clinical skills include acupuncture, homeopathy, Chinese and Western herbal medicine, nutritional counseling, and a wide range of other holistic therapies. In 2000, Dr. Gallipo discovered Body Talk Mind Body Medicine and is now an internationally, internationally renowned advanced senior international instructor in the system. She has since transitioned her practice to be focused on Body Talk Intuitive Medicine since it is the most innovative and paradigm shifting modality in her clinical experience. She runs a body talk and acupuncture holistic clinic in Miami, To Be Healthy Inc., and that's the number two. The culmination of a lifelong dream to be able to offer affordable medical services to anyone in the community on a walk in basis. Synthesizing practices from various ancient and modern medical systems, Dr. Janet brings intuitive understanding and knowledge of the deeper factors relating to health and illness. Working with the individual's body's energies and capacity for healing, she creates customized healing plans based on foundation causes of chronic illness. Dr. Janet has traveled to the four corners of the world, South Africa, Asia, Europe, and North America in order to share her unique treatment methods and to comprehensively train other holistic practitioners. Addressing the complex relationships between mind and body and the way in which humans are connected in their environment, Janet focuses on health, restoration on all levels. Welcome back again to Yin Yoga Lifestyle, Janet. Oh, Colette, thank you so much. After the, after that introduction, it's just like, wow, I feel like I'm sitting on a cloud. Thank you well, so you much. Well, you should be. You do so much good. Um, and, and, and of course, you know, uh, this, is, um, this is Janet's third podcast with us because we can't get enough of her, really, because she is so insightful. And, um, but one of the questions I do want to ask you um, to start the interview, um, what was the most profound life experience that shifted your perception of who you thought you were going to be and who you became? Well, you know, Colette, um, in, in thinking about that question, I guess what I think what you're really asking is, you know, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Like, or you <laughs> yes. grow up, right? And I mean, <laughs> right. we're, when we're young, you know, we all have dreams. And, and of course, you know, I never imagined when I was, you know, a, a, a little girl that I was going to grow up to be a holistic medical practitioner. Like, I wouldn't have even known, you know, what that was. And so the journey is really, really interesting. Right. But, you know, one uh, adventure that um, I just want to relate to you quickly because it was the thing that first came to mind when I when I thought about this was how I actually came to switch careers and and I switched uh, careers and entered acupuncture college because of a dog bite <laughs> oh that's interesting so we know because it just goes to show you the way in which, you know, the universe is always working for us and, and doing what we need to do. And I had recently decided I, I actually had a great job. I always, you know, worked with helping people in different ways. I worked in the in the prison system for five years in Boston and wow. I worked 
in, um, you know, with uh, uh, adolescent girls who were who were orphaned, being a group, you know, a group uh, home mother in, in Boston also. And then I worked in affordable housing, trying to get first time uh, home buyers, particularly single women to buy a house. I did all these different things. And I was also always interested in, in natural medicine and kind of working with herbs and, you know, some sort of different, you know, down home therapies. But but anyway, I all of a sudden one day I learned that you could go to acupuncture college in Florida and you could get a license in, in three years. It was at that time. And you could set up a, a healthcare practice. And I had been profoundly influenced myself by, by Chinese medicine. So I was thrilled. And I, and I, and I learned about this on a Thursday afternoon. And I said to the, to the head teacher, okay, I'll be back Monday morning to start college. And he, and he said, what are you talking about? You know, <laughs> time you, and I said, believe me over the weekend, I am going to figure this out. And long story short, I, I actually was, you know, on my other job and I, I entered an apartment and there was a dog there and I, the dog bit my Achilles tendon and all of a sudden there I was in the hospital and they said, well, you'll be fine. There's no permanent damage. And the good news is you're going to be on workers comp for three months. And so there I was Monday morning on crutches starting acupuncture college. <laughs> wow. Oh, and I, I, I suppose you were, you were actually, everybody wanted to work on you, right? Because you had, <laughs> we'll exactly. heal you. Exactly. It was right? like, oh, here's the wounded healer. Okay, what can we do? You know. So yeah, it was. It was, but it, it was amazing because it just goes to show you that you know sometimes we think something is a terrible thing, but it actually turns out to be a great thing. So right. I, I thank that dog. <laughs> thank you, dog, wherever you are. Exactly. <laughs> Um, so now over the last two podcasts, so we've talked about body talk seminars worldwide and your amazing be healthy foundation that serves so many disadvantaged people, but we haven't really talked about your clinic in Miami, Florida. So can you explain what the to be healthy holistic center is all about and what prompted you to create this center of healing? Well, you know, Colette, I've been in uh, private practice um, in Miami Beach for, for over 20 years. So I was on Lincoln Road, I was over on 41st Street, and I it was myself. I was by myself, and I always had an excellent practice integrating um, body talk and related therapies with Chinese medicine. And But, you know, I was coming to a point where I, I just had this inner sense that it wasn't just about me anymore. Like, I really needed to take these practitioners who had been my students, these, you know, people who really wanted to have full-time practices and create an environment for them to work in and really open up a clinic for the general public. And I was seeing all of these like urgent care clinics opening, you know, which, you know, I think are great because, you know, they kind of, you know, short step the, the hospital visit, right? So you don't right. have to the ER, if something's happening, you can go to urgent care. It's a lot more affordable. It's usually quicker. And, and then I thought, wow, you know, these are good, but what about a natural medicine kind of urgent care clinic? I mean, of course, we're not open for 24 hours, but, but you know, the theory is there that a lot of things that maybe get treated in the ER or urgent care, we can take care of, you know, the colds, the right. flus, the ear infections, the migraine headaches, you know, um, even things like, you know, a sprained ankle, as long as you know, somebody isn't, um, if nothing is broken, you know, we, we have a lot of things that we can do with that. So, you know, all of these things. And so I thought, you know, I want to open up a holistic kind of walk-in clinic and, you know, just have it be opened for, for anything that comes up, you know, so yeah. you know, people are stressed out, people are in pain, you know, let's see if, you know, they can just walk in and, and we can address them. Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually really wonderful to have that option for people. Um, as you know, you have been working with Chinese medicine for over 30 years. Can you believe that the time and she looks like you look like you're 15. Um, and <laughs> You really do. And for the last 20 years, um, with the uh, integrative science-based body talk system, can Eastern and Western medicine complement each other? And is there a place where they overlap? Because if anybody knows this, you do. I mean, I think 
that what's happening now is that a lot of the ancient Chinese medical theory is being validated. Yes. So, of course, you know, in ancient China, well, they weren't like cutting into bodies, you know, the way that, you know, they were, you know, to learn Western physiology in England two and three hundred years ago. They didn't really work with cadavers. They they worked through observation and through, you know, standing on the outside and really observing, you know, what was going on inside the energetic connections between the organ systems and the meridians and, you know, all the different parts of the body. And, you know, it's taken a long time for the system of Chinese medicine, which is really based on the meridian system, to be validated by Western medicine. But but finally, it has been, you know, so now, you know, through all this microimaging, they can actually see the meridians, they know they exist, they can follow the meridian pathways. And um, one of the terms that they're using now for the meridian system, since they can actually see it, and it looks like, you know, fluids like moving through the system, they're calling it the primovascular, you know, system. So now suddenly, I think, you know, Chinese medicine and acupuncture is kind of taking more of a, a prominent seat in the in the healthcare conversation. And then, of course, you know, what Western medicine knows now is that, you know, most um, disease is caused by stress and inflammation. These are what they call epigenetic factors. And so, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes things start with inflammation, you know, there was an injury and it didn't heal well, and then the inflammatory response doesn't get turned off. And then it becomes a chronic inflammatory problem that leads to things like type two diabetes and different kinds of autoimmune disease. Um, and so, you know, that can happen or sometimes it starts with stress and then stress, of course, affects the hormones, the cortisol in the body and the adrenaline. And then that in turn creates the inflammatory response. So, you know, now, you know, what we know in Western medicine, especially over the last five or 10 years, is that, you know, stress and inflammation cause most chronic illness, like 90 percent of what they call epigenetic illnesses are caused by these modern lifestyle factors. And of course, in Chinese medicine, they knew this thousands of years ago. It wasn't necessarily as stressful back then, but they called it qi stagnation, right? And they said, okay, uh, yes. recognize this. We know what to do. We're going to move the qi of the body, and then it's going to reduce stress and inflammation. So I think that you know, Western medicine and Chinese medicine uh, are really um, coming into a very happy period together now. Absolutely. And <clears throat> you're your center, the To Be Healthy Center. So you offer many modalities of healing, don't you, at the center? Um can you talk about how, well, one, about what modalities that you offer, but, but how you might assess a patient who comes in and what, how do you know what that patient needs? Well, you know, one of, the, one of the things that we always say here at the clinic is that uh, we many times um, patients coming in need to be approached with different frequencies, you know. So we're talking about frequencies along the electromagnetic spectrum. And so, you know, this can be, you know, acupuncture has a specific frequency. Working with colored light has a specific frequency. Working with um, body talk, body intuitive has a specific frequency. Working with crystals has yeah. a specific frequency. So all of these frequencies are actually creating, they're sort of, you know, the patient's body is absorbing them in different ways and they're creating different kinds of balance within the body mind of the client. So we have these specials at the office, we call them stairway to heaven specials. And we have them because we know that usually when somebody comes in, they don't need just one thing. They need at least two or three of these different frequencies to address the physical body, to address the mental emotional body, and to address, um, you know, what we call the the sort of spiritual sense of self, and 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 the the combination of these services really um, helps people to feel balanced when they leave here. So we often combine body talk with acupuncture with and without needles with some kind of hands-on therapy like massage or reflexology because we just find that the combination is really fantastic and goes a long way towards balancing these factors of stress and inflammation that I mentioned. Yeah, and it's uh, and and most of us, most people work, walk around um, with these imbalances and wonder why they don't feel very well, right? 
Yeah, I mean, I'm always so surprised at the people who come in here, and by the time they get here, they, most of them have been feeling unwell for quite a while, and right. they have gotten used to it. You know, they just, they don't feel well. Maybe they haven't been sleeping well for, you know, one or two years, or they've had a chronic pain condition for two or three years, but they've kind of learned to live.